Hi everyone, I'm Tojian and I'm going to present our paper, a case study of utilizing the SMT server for deployment optimization of an i6 1499 based application. The co-authors are Tojian Liu, Yan Olaf Black and uh, uh, Valerie Vyadkin. So first of all, I'm going to introduce the background of this paper. It is uh, noteworthy that the i6 1499 standard is uh, gaining more and more Notice in industrial automation, especially for the control application development. Uh, it is going to be the complementary alternative of the i6-1131. Several features provided by the i6-1499 standard are event-driven distribution, flexibility, and agility in control application development. Uh, in other words, application development by the standard is driven by events rather than cyclic scanning, which makes more uh, sense and makes applications more efficient by reducing time wasted on unnecessary scanning time. So on the other hand, the, the feature distribution makes control applications to be running on distributed devices with heterogeneous resources, cross cloud and edge computing platforms. However, uh, there is always one problem, which is that there is no silver bullet to guide users to distribute function blocks for the control applications in, a, in an optimal strategy. Therefore, how to distribute or deploy those function blocks is the scope of this paper. According to the problem, how to distribute the function blocks more efficiently, we have three goals that are forced, uh, flattening nested function blocks, uh, second, prepare the penalty metrics for being used later in the redeployment calculation and the last uh, optimization uh, motiv motivations to utilize the implemented SMT server to calculate the uh, optimal redeployment strategy based on the obtained penalty metrics. Uh, there are three enablers help us achieve our targets, that is, optimize the deployment of function blocks in the i6-1499 based control applications. Those enablers are i6-1499 standard, as we already introduced in the beginning. Uh, this resolver, that is an instance of SMT server, and the third enabler is the containerization technology. Those three enablers could further improve the distribution efficiency and the flexibility of control applications according to the issue like the redeployment strategy. According to the three motivations in this paper, we have three contributions accordingly. First, we defined the redeployment models with uh, four formulas, especially in three containers and one objective. Second, we implemented uh, uh, engineering to a framework as uh, Java applications to be uh, the proof of concept. This engineering tool compensates of several components and we integrate one component to invoke the V3 server API to calculate those formulas. And finally, we utilize the containerization to create the 40 image and run the 40 containers on the devices instead of manually deploy those runtime software by utilizing the containerized runtime uh, save a lot of time on setting up the work environment for the control applications. So, so far, uh, the first contribution, uh, the redeployment models, there are four formulas representing some constraints when distribute function blocks of control applications. The first constraint is the each function block will be assigned a variable like xi, and the value of this variable indicates which 40 container this function block should be deployed to. The second constraint is that each 40 container has limit of maximum supported function blocks could be run inside it. This constraint can prevent those devices and the 40 containers from running out of resources. The third model is that the external data connections should be minimized as best as possible to reduce the communication latency between devices interfaces function. Finally, the fourth model indicates that even though the external data connections 
should be uh, minimized with best efforts. The scales or underlying hardware should also be considered. If the function block requires hardware support for any reason, such a function block should only be deployed to the devices with the hardware requirements instead of other function, other devices. The second contribution of our work is to present an engineering tool framework implemented as several Java applications, including the monitor coordinator, this parser, this generator, and executor. The most essential component is the this generator. This component could automatically generate the formulas as mentioned above as expressions, so that could be solved by invoking this resolver API. The last contribution is the Forti container. We compiled this Forti from the source code provided by Fortec in a cross-compiling approach. During compilation, we updated the capability of accessing GPL file system in devices like uh, Raspberry Pi, and then we created a Docker file to create this runtime image based on Raspbian operating system. After successfully creating this 4D runtime image, we launched this 4D container on Raspberry Pi devices and the band port 61499 with the hosting machines. The setup will be used to conduct an experiment for proof of concept. Inside each Raspberry Pi device, several 4D containers can be launched while command line interface quickly with different port numbers and uh, local IP addresses. This combination of IP with uh, port number will be used later to map the devices in 4D IDE. The figure shows a hot water tank a control application based on ISX1499 standard. Uh, the six function blocks on the right side are composite function blocks. That is to say there are many other components nested inside the six function blocks, uh, which may also be nested uh, function blocks. This control application has four function four functions which are uh, slow water inlet, faster water inlet, uh, faster water outlet, and uh, water temperature control. This four functionalities correspond to four buttons on the right side. This diagram shows the function blocks for the entire hot water tank control application. The green function blocks are all composite function blocks, and the blue function blocks are all rating uh, flattened function blocks. So if you remember the previous diagram, you know that the underneath the few composite function blocks can be a very large and uh, complex network of function blocks. For example, in this application, there are only six function blocks at the top level, and they should not be responsible, uh, should not be reasonable to redeploy the computation to just these six function blocks. Therefore, the first step uh, we proposed in our paper is to get all the non-nested function blocks. Those non-nested ones are all in blue color. After obtaining all the non-nested function blocks, the second part is to calculate the penalty matrix of these non-nested function blocks. The penalty matrix contains a total of two factors, uh, communication and proximity. The penalty matrix indicates whether different function blocks should be deployed to the same POC or they should be deployed to distributed to different POCs for all non-nested function blocks. Once the penalty matrix is obtained for all non-nested function blocks, the last step is to compute the current optimal redeployment solution. Since the function blocks of this hot water control application are too large and the final redeployment scheme is very long, I will not describe it in detail here. However, the figure reflects the performance of our implemented redeployment communication scheme, computation scheme for different variables such as the number of runtime containers and the maximum support per container. Uh, we, uh, we count the execution time of the corresponding redeployment optimization, and you can say the the most optimal strategies 
uh, for the parameter of number of containers is like uh, if the number of containers could be uh, less than four, the performance is uh, quite good. Once we get the optimized redeployment results from the, this resolver based on our proposed models, it's time to distribute those function blocks using those results mentioned above. The performance here is to think about how to map the devices configuration inside the 4 ID to the real devices like the microcontrollers or POCs with containerized uh, runtime environments. For different 4 containers running on the same devices, we indicate that the mapping can be obtained from the combination of IP addresses and port numbers. By doing like this, function blocks in the IDE can be deployed to the 4 containers on different devices. After redeploying all the function blocks from the IDE to the runtime, we say this is a completed task of redeployment optimization by denying that this resolver. To wrap up what we have done in this paper first, uh, we give the semantics of redeployment models of i 61499 based control applications. Second, we introduce the, this resolver as the intelligent agent of automatically calculate the optimal redeployment results based on the semantics. And finally, we instigate the possibility to utilize the containerization technology with i 6 standard in a new approach. By analyzing the experimental results we obtained, we could prove that those rede redeployment models can reduce the optimization time comparing to related works and the utilizing the 40 container could also further boost the efficiency when creating distributed runtime environment among devices. So this is all of my presentation. Thanks for your listening. Any questions?